So I can't exactly remember where I left off, but I think I left off saying that we were trying to troubleshoot why this heap wasn't getting as hot as the grass clippings heap that was just sitting out. Ready to go down to the garden, baby? I don't think it had anything to do with like that being hit with direct sun and this being under this kind of like awning thing. Um, we took off the front paneling and found out that there were tons of gaps of air, Ooh, tons of gaps of air and that we hadn't really layered the heap correctly. So there was, you know, branches that needed to be broken down a little bit more and roots that should have been cut up a little bit more. So we ended up taking out everything from this compost pile and separating it into stuff that needed to break down a little bit more in terms of greens and house um, house scraps and then branches and things like that. And so we restacked it, put in some cardboard and relayered it. And actually in that heap, there was a bunch of compost stuff that was actually broken down but there was other things that weren't and I think it was because the layering was just done incorrectly so we have relayered it since then we've put a little bit more of house scraps on but we really need to be mindful of not putting anything else on this for two weeks so that it can do its thing but I am going to temp it out now and see if that has helped now like I said the range should be around Hi. 135 um, to 160 and we weren't quite getting that temp before so let's take a look and see if we're getting it now you can take it out of there oh it's on maddox yep just take it out of there and what is it reading right now um 30 well you have to look at the uh we're fahrenheit on the top so it's about 85 degrees out right now so you can go ahead and stick it in there Okay. And we'll see what it's tempting at. Oh, I hope it's... Stick it in far? Yep. Probably more towards the middle here. And you can just stick it in like that. And then we'll just give it a second and see. Man, so that's tempting out at 120. Shoot, so that's a bummer. It's temping out at 120, which on this thermometer says active. Um, <laughs> babies pushing babies. Um, it says that it's, uh, it's active, but not hot. Some of my research online has shown that um, it needs to be like 130, 140. I'm really bummed about that. I do not know what it could possibly be. I'm going to try to temp it one more time. I'm going to really stick it in there and see if we can get a, a better temp reading. Dang it. So <laughs> that spot's even cooler. I do not know what, what the deal is and how to make that better and how to get that hotter. I don't know if that means we need more nitrogen, which is more of um, the like plant-based product, so less woody um, things, less dry things, and more of the grass clippings and weeds, 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 and um, more house, more house waste. I don't know. I don't know how to make that hotter. So I'm gonna Google search some stuff. I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna go check in with Charles Dowding and go to his YouTube channel and watch some of his composting videos to see if I can get a better idea as to why this isn't getting any hotter than 120. Uh, when we tempted it a couple of weeks ago, it was actually at 130, so it was cooking a little bit hotter. I don't know, but I'll get back to you guys and, and let you know what we find out and we'll just keep checking this thing periodically. We really need to be better about coming out here and checking it probably every couple of days just to make sure that it's not only getting up to that hot, um, that hot 
130 to one or 135 to 165 area but to um make sure that it's not getting too hot which obviously that's not a problem for us right now but we just need to be more diligent so that we can continue to troubleshoot this we've never really done compost like i said last year we just turned it over once and it hasn't really broken down too too much there's still a lot of grass and and that will decompose and break down eventually but we'd like to do a couple rotations in the summer and then have one that sits over over the winter period so we got to get on it. it takes about six seven weeks to break down just one second buddy six to seven weeks to break down and then we can turn it so still gonna work on this and see what happens and we'll let you guys know the results